Welcome to the Mark Few Show, everyone. Tom Hudson here uh, for Greg Heister, who is off in the Netherlands, the farther regions of America, doing something out there. Uh, up here in the we cold. go again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's, it's an early spring right that he decides to uh, take off and kind of leave us hanging, but uh, I'm sure we'll be fine without him. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll hang in there and do our best. Uh, Greg, up at the idea of riding more Alaska. than that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Coach, uh, we went down to BYU on Thursday night, and as tough a place here is to play in the country, and I thought it was so impressive because I don't know nationally that people that don't really follow it understand that atmosphere and how tough it yeah. is to play there. You went in there and uh, the crowd is wild, the team is good. I mean, yeah. you combine those two things, yeah. it's 20,000 fans that we don't see in West Coast Conference play. That's a, a difficult trip. Well, you don't see that hardly yeah. anywhere yeah. <laughs> in America, maybe Syracuse, and I, I don't know that I can think of anywhere else mm -hmm. that can get 20,000 into a uh, arena. And, and obviously you've been everywhere with us, but the, the decibel level that night was substantial yeah. mm -hmm. and you had a team that was playing for their NCAA tournament lives and they were playing I mean obviously it was the highest ranked team that had ever uh, been in that building and, and again and, and even with all that I mean the one thing the BYU kids do Dave Rose does such a great job with is I mean they play so incredibly hard mm -hmm. that I mean it, it was a war and coach and I thought that was maybe the most impressive aspect of it was to be able to match that intensity the physical intensity and not yeah. go over the line and then again yeah. your basketball team made some big plays down the stretch yeah I mean it, uh, to keep our poise in that environment it was a really really physical game I mean all our games with BYU have been mm -hmm. physical but I mean it was really physical mm -hmm. and a couple of plays obviously <laughs> were even more physical than others and mm -hmm. our guys kept their heads and stayed in it and uh, Again, just made plays down the stretch. That's what this group uh, uh, has been, you know, so solid at. Yeah. It, that mm -hmm. last four minutes, getting to the last four minutes and just the ball goes to the right spot at the right time. Actually, Gary Bell made a heck of a pass to get it to Kelly at the high post against that zone, which was really collapsing in there. Really shows some growth by Gary. That's a pass he couldn't make last year and maybe mm -hmm. even early uh, uh, this year. And then. Kelly's just been an unbelievable down the stretch yeah. of these games. I mean, that's a uh, that's an ha a very difficult shot that he makes look very easy on a regular basis. And Coach, you're able to come back to Spokane for Senior Day. We haven't seen that in West Coast Conference play. Yeah. What a great deal to be able to come in. There was great energy in the building, and yeah. again to come out and just take care of business. It's been uh, an amazing run here at, at home. I mean, I, it's there has and I can't think of uh, at halftime if there was anybody that was really uh, within uh, striking distance mm -hmm. of us. And again, it's uh, the, the guys deserve all the credit for coming out, playing with great energy, playing with great passion, uh, but also just taking the scouting report to heart and just really choking guys off and making, making just it difficult to score in this building on us. I think if we summed everything up uh, with the, the home run here, it's, it, it was that. Mm -hmm. And Coach, uh, you finish up this home run with a 16-0 West Coast Conference mark. You do it on Senior Day where, you know, I mean, Elias plays fantastic. Mike gives you his effort. I mean, Guy played as hard as heck. I mean, what a great way to yeah. send everybody out and to go 16-0 and is an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, and I mean, and what a great senior class. I mean, uh, because it just, every story is just so different. You got Elias who's Gonna go down as one of the all-time greats, you know, with points, with rebounds, mm -hmm. with wins, uh, with starts. Uh, you got Mike Hart, who uh, uh, was in the student body, you know, he said for uh, Midnight Madness his first year here, mm -hmm. up there cheering for us, and here he is down here making uh, huge, huge uh, contributions to our uh, team. And then you got uh, Guy, uh, I mean, a guy who has experienced a lot of success in the past. Now maybe this year, it, it, this isn't ideal with where he thinks he, you know, is hoping to be a senior year. But all the while has remained just a phenomenal teammate. I mean, that might be the, as big an accomplishment as anything in this day and age with, uh, you know, the me, me, me culture. So, uh, awesome uh, senior class. Great way to send them out. And uh, again, uh, you know, uh, just a, a special senior night. And coach, 16 and 0. Wow. 16 and 0 is significant. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very, very uh, significant in that uh, <clears throat> nobody's ever done it before. Mm -hmm. You know, the fact that we added BYU, you were there now, that's a significant, or that's a difficult 
stop yeah. on the <laughs> on the WCC schedule. So to go 16 and 0, uh, it'll be the first time that's ever been done, and uh, our, our guys deserve a ton of credit for it, and, and they need to savor it and enjoy it. As do all Zag fans right mm -hmm. now. You know, people need to just take a step back, not get all hung up with the NSA tournament and seeding and all that, and really enjoy, you know, what this group of guys has been able to put together, uh, you know, through these last four months or whatever. I mean, it's been a, a heck of a ride, and we obviously want to keep it rolling and keep it going, but not at the expense of, you know, not really enjoying where mm -hmm. we're at and, and taking a step back and going, wow, this is something special. Yeah, 29 and 2 for the Bulldogs. We get ready for the West Coast Conference Tournament. Coming up next on the Mark Few Show. I met so many great people here and the way uh, the community, you know, accepted me and treats me and uh, the love they show me is just, that's one thing I'm always going to like. It's, not, it's one thing I'm never going to forget, never. Logistics of the game delivered by UP.